Now, I think of my family, and I want to, this is a very weird topic, but I'll do it anyway. There have been many like shows my family would watch. And I mean my family, my mother, my father, my sisters maybe, that they had watched over the years. Murder, She Wrote being one of them. You remember this? Columbo. Good old Columbo with the, with the chili. Good old, good old Matlock, Abraham Simpson's favorite show. Perry Mason, of course. NCIS. Ah. And of course, Law and Order. <laughs> and it's Special Victims Unit that I want to talk about. Now, my family had watched these shows. This was like my dad would watch the Steven Seagal movies where he would tear people up to pieces. Remember when Steven Seagal was cool? And then he gained like 40 pounds and then he was uninteresting. He would try to get away with those sort of SWAT team, just walk around with his gun and shoot at people kind of thing. Uh, what was the one with Brother Sheep, that little short movie? Oh, God. Then he got the, then he was like me too. And I don't know what the hell happened to him. He was in politics and then that was it. Yeah. And then uh, he watched the early Schwarzenegger. But what he wasn't watching, when my dad was not watching Schwarzenegger movies or uh Steven Seagal or really violent movies, he would, my mom and my dad would, would mutually watch. I mean, even my oldest, oldest sister, okay, who, my mom and my oldest sister are coming over this goddamn house again on fucking Monday on this fucking family watch that I have to be doing now. I really hate this family. So I think that's why I'm doing this video. They would watch crime shows, okay? Uh, I don't think they would watch NYPD Blue as much, though I kind of like that show, NYPD Blue and, and Southland. I like to see broken people. I like to see broken, shattered people. So for them, um, they like to see superheroes, and not superheroes in the formal sense, but superheroes in that good guys take shake down the bad guys. Ooh, the bad guy didn't tell the truth. We're going to make the bad guy tell the truth. And then that's it. And everything's fine. And wrap it up in a little bowl. We solved the case. And I'm like, you know, <sighs> the first few years of your life, you see shows like that. You're like, oh, good. Punch the bad guy. And we, we, we won. But it's never that simple. You've seen how in real life the system gets really fucked. Sometimes it goes your way and a lot of times it doesn't. And sometimes it, uh, it, injustice be done because justice can be blind like that. Justice can be blind. But anyway, um, spe special victims unit. Now, this was my turning point in not respecting these shows. Because with Matlock, McMillan and Wife, Columbo, uh, Ellery Queen, right? Um, Scarecrow and Mrs. King. I'm going over your heads with this stuff. You don't know what I'm just... You, this is, look, this is research time, everyone. This is where you do the research. But if I say Leo Stereo, you already know how old I am. You know I'm not 20. So, Law and Order Special Victims Unit, everything was righteous, 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 righteous. Good guys have to go after the bad guys. Maybe there's a personal story with the good guys, but it never, it never overflows. It's very much, it's very much G, guidance, right? Like, I know there's TV ratings, but let's just go with movie ratings, okay? It's G to P parental guidance. It's never going to go into PG-13, and it's never going to go into rated R. These are good guys. They're perfect. Uh, Mariska Hargitay is perfect. Uh, Jerry Orbach, the singer who was in uh, Kojak, he's perfect, okay? All these people that play cops are perfect superhero guys that... That shake down the bad guys, and they they know how, they shake down those bad guys. Well, you better tell the truth. You're on trial. You will tell the truth. It's gonna be bad for you. And the bad guys are like, okay, I I did it. Okay, this. Okay, and it's like okay. So we go through this for. I mean, my family would watch this. My my mother, my father, my sister, but they would watch these shows. Because until my dad died, it was, that was like like twenty four years, and then my mom twenty four years, and then my mom would watch more of these, like The Mentalist. I think she liked The Mentalist, how handsome The Mentalist was, and all this shit. For another ten years, I mean, another another couple of years. Okay, I think my sister and I had that falling out fi fist fight two years later after my dad died. So they would go on and watch more shows, watch more things, 
So for 26 years, I would keep an eye on what they were watching. But I know my family watches the same stupid shit, okay? Now, Special Victims Unit is stupid shit. And why? Now, there were a couple of episodes that I can remember 10 years ago, at least. Okay, I think back back in 2010. But maybe maybe more, maybe earlier than that. Maybe later than that, okay? Um, one of them was this woman here. I forget who she, this blonde here. I forget who she plays, okay? But she shoots, uh, she's protecting a child who was raised in a cult family and is abused, I don't know, sexually abused or verbally or physically assaulted, but she's assaulted, right? And she's doing everything. She's, it's hard to get that kid out of there because there's legal recourse to get the kid out of there. But uh, there's a shootout between the police, the, de- the police, the detectives. So she shoots at the house and her bullet kills the child that she was sworn to protect. Now, that's a sad story. They think, oh, that's a deep story. Maybe I'll keep watching these shows, okay? And then, then, you hear my clapping. Then we get to the episode that pissed me the fuck off, okay? And that episode was when there was a murder of either a cheerleader or a student or a young woman in a high school auditorium basketball court, you know, inside the basketball court gym, in the the auditorium gym, okay, in that place, okay? Mariska Hargitay finds the body. Now we think, oh, it's going to be just like Matlock. It's just going to be like Cannon, Frank Cannon. It's going to be just like Columbo. It's just going to be like Murder, She Wrote. Uh, they find the dead body. Like Columbo knows who it is. We always, Columbo plays that cat and mouse game. He didn't do it in that one episode with, with Robert Vaughn. You know which one? The one where Robert Vaughn dies in the episode. So it becomes a murder mystery in which Columbo does have to figure out who did it. So that was the one episode that was the 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 black sheep of it but this is kind of a black sheep too but for all the wrong reasons because when they find the body and they start you think they're going to find the, the culprit and it and this guy culprit's going to get locked up or maybe he'll get uh time served or maybe he'll be on parole or some some dark shit, shit right okay oh no 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 this is not tied up in a little bow case okay this is the, the body is taken to the hospital or taken, they're going to try to get an autopsy. But here comes these emergency first responders that need to take the body to another a person that needs to receive body parts, organs from this person. Because the murder victim, which we, we I mean, most of us can, can assume that she was murdered and not accidentally died. She donated her body parts when she signed up at the DMV. So she donated her, her organs. And that's gonna fuck with the with the murder case. So now it's like, no, we we got to take this body. So the body is held there at the hospital, and then there's a whole fucking court case. Now, when we think of Law and Order, we think, okay, detectives go and investigate everybody. Joey Diaz is one of the suspects, right? <laughs> and uh, everybody has some courty line. Jerry Orbach Orbach has some sort of gallows humor line of irony to say oh better better he hanged himself this way than hanging around tomorrow or whatever some, whatever stupid shit that he says right uh i think his last episode was a trial by jury that's when he after i passed away but um in this mariska hargitay by the way her character does a very good uh episode confronting her her stalker in which her stalker kills himself in front of her when she's tied up and gagged good episode but all that fell to the wayside when she's on trial explaining herself as to why she held the body back to be her for her organs to be donated to a a person who needs to receive those organs to save their life like no no we gotta we gotta save this second person's life that has nothing to do with the murder case we gotta donate this this girl's body parts now and it's like no no there's a murder she she's murdered we're almost like 100% sure she's murdered. All we have to do is a fucking autopsy. And then we take that autopsy results. And then we go and prove that she was murdered. And then we can find our killer eventually through trial. And they're like, no, we can't do that. So eventually the whole murder case is fucking forgotten because we have the, the court decided that her body parts will be shipped to the donor. And then the whole murder case is forgotten. The but fucking and and that's why I stopped watching these kinds of shows because it just it 
for this one, it was trying to follow this superheroes, but wear real clothing. They don't have superpowers, but they carry a badge and they're not playing around. They're ready to do business. And when they do the business, oh no, it's not, it's not good. It's not, it's not by the book. Oh no, because some people are corrupt. It's much like the French connection. Like you go back to the French connection, uh, it started out as maybe they're going to, you know, you had the Federal Bureau of Narcotics. You had everybody in charge trying to go after everybody, but the system killed them. The system killed Popeye Doyle and, and Cloudy, Cal, Cloudy Grasso. So this show just ended up being a joke. It, it, it was the grand finale of the system killing uh, Mariska Hargitay's character's uh, career. So she, I, I forget the character's name in the show. There's two different shows now. There's Special Victims Unit and there's Criminal Justice. So there's like, uh, uh, I don't know, whatever the other guy, the Malone, Christopher Maloney show. Uh, the one that, uh, uh, what is his name? He was in, uh, remember, what is it? Uh, remember Me or Rescue Me? That guy. That guy that was there, he's gotten much older. Um so yeah, this is a joke of a show. A lot of these, a lot of these shows have just gotten gotten old. I mean, you can't count on the superhero good guys to to stop the bad guys. Yes, there will always be those stories, but they've gotten they they've aged. They're the dinosaurs now, because we now see that people will cheat, light and steal, in favor of politicians, in favor of like if you I have a book called The Trial a uh, 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 History of Fear in which. Social, uh, social services, so you know, child services workers get trumped, no pun intended by our current uh, presidential candidate, they get trumped by the system to be over overridden by higher ups to say, no, ignore what's happening. But this person, this child could die, just like Gabriel Fernandez died, right? Just like Gannon Stouch died, like. You know, and I'm glad that the social service workers did not, the social workers did not get charged because they're, if, if their hands were tied, I mean, that's the problem. The system in real life, the people's hands are fucking tied. It's not cut and dry anymore. The Perry Masons of the world, yes, you could have a Perry Mason that's going to get the truth and it's going to do everything he can to get to the bottom of things. I mean, I still remember this episode of Family Law, Christopher McDonald's, where Christopher McDonald was trying to prove a child did not kill his his parents in cold blood or kill his friend with a handgun. And there was enough circumstantial evidence to say, and the jury said, okay, after the trial was over, the child told Christopher uh, Christopher McDonald, uh, Christopher McDonald uh, that I killed the kid and I had no regrets and I'm glad you I'm glad you're willing to keep our secret. Because you're the lawyer and I'm I'm the uh, defendant and I'm so glad you're keeping my secret. And this kid's like ten years old, so he has to live with the guilt <laughs> the whole episode. And I was like, that was interesting. That also that also that was a show that had the gorilla, in which the judge was like, okay, we can we can test the gorilla to see if he's a capable human being, but what's the test, right? That that's an interesting show that got canceled. That was the one with Dixie Carter. Anyway, enough of this. Uh, I've been rambling too long. Time to cook dinner.